Hi, I'm Kara Thorson from Yoga Equanimity, and today on Meet the Resistance, we're going to take a look at uh, three different variations of Shir Shasana on the rope wall. So we have our one set of ropes, and we're going to take off one of the small ropes from down at the bottom. That rope we're going to take with the closed end, and we're going to take the nearest ropes to one another. So the inside ropes, and I'm going to bring that around, bring the knot through, and tighten the rope so that it's stuck on there. The second end, I'm going to bring around that inside cord. I'm going to roll it and simply put the knot through. And now that's your second lock. So you always want to tie the ropes like that, knotting this side and then knotting this side so that they're both secure and they're not going to come undone for you. So our first variation will be with the blanket putting over and your blanket will be in its typical Sarvangasana fold and then we're going to place it over the rope so that both knots are covered. And we do that because in the beginning, you know, those knots can irritate the skin or, or irritate you, it's a sensation. So you're just gonna have to breathe through that and let it go. This is going to be for another variation of Shir Shasana, so I'm just gonna put it to the side so that it's out of the way but I can grab it easy enough. If you have a wooden plank, then a wooden plank is really nice as well, but this is nice because it presses the thighs back. So to come in, we're coming inside the ropes, facing the wall. I'm gonna take the ropes as high as I can with the arms or as high as I feel like I have control. So it can be down here. For some of you, you're gonna be more secure. For some of you, you're gonna be up. And for some of you, you'll change the hand grip as you go up as you feel more secure. So I'm on my tippy toes, I'm bringing one foot in towards the wall, second foot in towards the wall, and then I'm pressing so that I'm coming up. My head is towards the ceiling. And now from here, I'm going to adjust my ropes to bring them lower so that they're sitting between the joint of the femur and the top of the sacrum, or I'm sorry, the top of the iliac crest. As I come forward, I'm bending the knees so that I have my break and I don't fall through the ropes. So our first variation of Shirshasana is in Baddha Konasana. You can bring the, uh, the legs out towards the sides for Upavishta Konasana. You can bring the feet over the ropes. And then to come back up, you'll bring the hands towards your ropes, and you'll push in towards the wall. So I'm going to use this stick for another variation. So I'll begin again from the point where I'm going to go from the wall, and I bring the stick over the thighs. So bringing the stick over the thighs now provides another lock, so that now, and get me from the front, sweetheart, thank you so that now I can hang in this variation, pressing the thighs back. So it's nice, you could have the stick a little bit higher. Oy. And then hands will come towards your cords. And again, you slide a little bit down, bring your knees to the outside because that's your break. You'll take your stick, bring it towards the floor and then come up. We come down the same way, one foot at a time, and you can bring the forehead to the wall. For our third variation of Shir Shasana, we're going to undo our ropes, So for our second or our third variation, we're taking a bottom rope, so you'll unattach your two ropes here, and we're going to take the top rope off and put the shorter rope on. And again, we latch that rope 
from coming behind the circle and coming forward and then bringing the knot through and now your rope is safe. You're taking your second rope and you're bringing it in and you create a saddle. So for some of us, you may want to put a yoga mat or a blanket or what have you. I'm going to demonstrate without anything. And as you get more used to the ropes, you'll need less more. You'll need less. You can just use the ropes in general. But in the beginning, it's nice to have that pad if your body isn't prepared for it or is just building its confidence with it. So again, I'm on my tiptoes and I've got my ropes around me. I've put them over my head to get into them. Holding on to my top rope, I'm again going to bring one foot towards the wall and second foot towards the wall, where I can then slip the ropes down. It's stuck, there we go. Slip the ropes down so that they're at the broadest part of the pelvis. So your advantage in this variation is that you can then have the legs directly up for your shirshasana. The ropes push the thighs back, which is really nice. And then you can even play with the arms of shirshasana so that you can build that muscle memory of your shirshasana. You could also do it with the arms hanging. You can bring the arms to the sides. And this variation is nice because you can also turn to face the wall. So you can play with your shirshasana like this. And then to come back out, you'll roll back. And you can settle back into your shirshasana. And then again, grab that center knot, then pull yourself slightly up, and you may want to reacclimate here, no problem. Bend your knees, push through the feet, and come back up to the beginning. Bring the head up, have the legs be stable, and hold yourself. And then again, we can start to walk down the wall. If you have a head spin or anything, you'll bring the forehead towards the wall. Or you can bring the back hand to the back of the wrist to the forehead to give a little pressure. And you come out of your ropes the same way you came in them by crawling out head first. So I hope that helps. Uh, the different variations can promote different variables within them. As I said, the open one is really nice for pelvic release, for shoulder imbalance. This one's really nice to bring the thighs back as well as the one where we stabilize the thighs to, uh, for me, for correcting the scoliosis to get the, the pelvis in line. So happy practice and we'll talk to you soon. Again, I'm Kara Thorson from Yoga Equanimity and this is Meet the Resistance.